Welcome to Snap Minecraft Snapshot 19W36A. Today I will be going over all the new stuff and things. Okay, so first off, game roll. Uh, do. There's. Wait, there's supposed to be some. Okay, game roll. Drowning damage. Game rule. Fall damage. And game rule. Fire damage. Now these are all things from the Bedrock Edition. This is basically, which for those of you who don't know, the Bedrock Edition is just like the phone, mobile phone version, Windows 10 edition, um, new Xbox One, new Nintendo Switch, you know, stuff like that, um, so yeah, all these game rules do what they say, uh, yeah, you can, like, you can disable the damage for, like, drowning and stuff, you know, Jamie, is your summer homework done? If you were to, you know, so, uh, yeah, you know, basically, yeah, it does what it says. Um, uh, some of you may also know that um, if you don't sleep for three days, then these things called phantoms will spawn at night. you haven't slept for three days. Yeah, there's a game rule to disable them spawning. Do insomnia. If you have it true, then the phantoms will spawn. If you have it false, then they won't. Uh, let's see, um, is there any more game rules added? Uh, ah, do immediate respawn. Now this might be a good time to talk about another feature from the Bedrock Edition, where you don't need to actually sleep in a bed to set your spawn. Now you can just right click on the bed, then your spawn will be set. So yeah. Trying to show the feature. Come on. Yeah, you see, it just immediately respawned. You know, not going through the title screen. Okay, I believe that's the last of them. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, something that has nothing to do with the snapshot, but I thought was pretty cool, is that... You can do stuff like this with phantoms. This is never used in game, but hey, you can do it with commands. Or if you have a data pack, which makes it let the longer you're awake for. Um, I believe it's also like with slime. It does the same like health scaling thing that slimes do. Hold on, must have had. Yeah, it must have been for song. Yeah. So um, there's. Uh, let's see. Um, Mojang um also did some stuff where they allowed you to like um. So basically, there's like stuff. Which basically like scram like I forget what the word is, but basically um they had a thing that allows you to like it's basically like a key that you can use to, like 
basically a code would be like scramble or something, then like some key to like unscramble the code or something. You know, so that'd be easier for like people to like mod and stuff, you know. So it doesn't take like 12 years for you to be able to mod in the version of Minecraft. Sponge down. He'll turn into a a normal sponge. But if you still but if you have a cauldron you can still fill it with water. I know it doesn't make sense to me either. So it then that being said. So you could get water in the nether by doing this. So what if I was to do this? Okay, you know, just wanted to, you know, clear that up. Uh, let's see, um... What else was that in it? What else changed and stuff? Oh yeah, um, lava can still damage you if you have the um, if you have the thing that disables the fire damage. Lava will still damage you. So your fire resistance potions still have use. Also, why is it called fire resistance if it gives you an immunity to fire when the effect known as resistance gives reduces damage? Shouldn't it be called something like fire immunity or something? Uh, let's see, um... Ah yes, uh... There's some glitches or effects, you know, stuff like uh, being able to use, like, dispenser bottle on, like, one of these that didn't have full whatever. Yeah, um, this, uh, no, this got nerfed, um, but you could still drink it with full hunger bar, you know. I believe five seconds should be enough. If my saturation isn't. Yeah, okay, so then. There. However, we still don't know if it gives a max saturation or not. Um, okay, so, um. Uh. Isn't there something else? Um, uh, oh yeah, there was like some glitch or something which made it so that if you like built on like, uh, if you press F3 and, um, yeah, if you press F3 and G, it shows the chunk boundaries, yeah. So there was like some glitch where if you like, on like multiplayer servers or something where if you like built on like these like if you built on like chunks then like the chunks could like reset or something or like chunks could be in like wrong places or whatever I don't know I like which was like fixed now uh, yeah uh, hold on let's see is there any new item
Oh yeah, Bane of Arthur. Oh yeah. How could I forget about this? Yeah, swords with Bane of Arthur pods now do extra damage to bees when when they didn't before. Yeah, um, that's basically about it, I guess. Uh, um, I believe. However, oh, there is one thing I wanted to show you. So if I get um grindstone, slan um. If I was to give myself, uh, if I was to, yeah, 300. Wait, hold on, so, um, get two diamond swords here, okay. So, if I use grindstone here, yeah, okay, and then, can repair our stuff, so... If I was to repair these two here, then wait. The only I know it works for. So what if this depend on? Yeah, okay. So, however, if you use the two by two crafting, then it gives you a normal diamond sword, not the one with the custom model data. So that so. If you're using custom model data, then you should repair your tools with that. It's not a feature of the snapshot, I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, yeah. Uh. Wait, F3 escape? I never knew that. I never knew that was possible. I've seen that list many times, and I never knew that was possible. <sighs> okay, uh, my computer's lagging. Um, I'm gonna end this here. Hope you enjoyed. Come on. Yeah, okay, just bye.